Make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video for information about a LEGO Ninjago set giveaway. LEGO has made many different Ninjago dragons over the years for lots of different characters. However, the way they design dragons has changed many times, so we've never actually gotten dragons for all six of the main ninja done in the same style. But last year in 2022, LEGO introduced the Ninjago Core line. With this wave, dragons were made for Kai, Jay, and Lloyd. The core line then continued into this year, 2023, and introduced dragons for Zane, Cole, and Nia. Now, thanks to Core, for the first time ever, we have dragons for every single ninja done in the same style. They all use these molded dragon heads with interchangeable upper and lower jaw pieces, so they all look pretty great together, except for one small thing. You see, Zane's and Lloyd's dragons are significantly larger than the other four. Kai, Jay, Nia, and Cole's dragons are a part of the Evo line of sets, meaning they were designed for a younger audience and they have some sort of evolution aspect to them. Zane's and Lloyd's dragons are full-size sets though, so while I think they're some of the best dragons that LEGO has ever created, they might seem a bit too detailed when compared to the Evo dragons. So I thought it would make for a fun video to transform these incredible detailed dragons into smaller, more simplistic builds that may fit in better with the other Evo dragons. So it was time to get building. I knew of course I was going to be using the upper and lower jaw pieces from the big Lloyd and Zane dragons, but for the rest of the build I had to take a closer look at the four Evo dragons to see what elements are consistent with all of them. First, of course, we have the way that the upper and lower jaws connect. They use these grey pieces, which I really hate, but it's a part of the Evo dragon identity so I had to include them. Next we have the way that the head connects to the body. Every dragon except for Cole's connects the head in basically the same way, one of these rigid hinge pieces, so I'd have to make sure to do the same for mine. The Cole dragon does a lot of things differently than the other three, so you'll see that I'm basing my dragons mostly on the common traits between the others. Next, the bodies of the dragons. The dragons all have long, mostly thin bodies that are mostly just bricks built on top of bricks. No crazy building techniques here, it's supposed to be easy for kids to put together. Then we have the legs. The legs connect on mini ball joints and mostly use the SCCPS limb pieces. Again, Cole's dragon breaks this rule, and so do the back legs on Nia's, but oh well. We're gonna use the SCCBS pieces for mine. Then in terms of color scheme, it's of course different across every dragon, but one constant is the color gold. Some dragons have more gold on them than others, but every single one has at least a little, so I need to make sure to include some on mine. Similarly, the wings. All four dragons have some sort of wings, and while they're pretty small most of them, I need to make sure to include some sort of wings in my build. Then we have the Evo aspect. Every dragon here has some sort of evolution feature where it has multiple forms. And for all of them except for Nia's, this includes adding an additional part to the dragons that makes the torsos longer. So I want to try and do something similar with my customs. And then finally we need a seat for the ninja to sit and ride the dragons, and a core flag or banner out the back. But before I show you how building went, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. For real. Do it. Right now. I'm waiting. But no, in all seriousness, if you enjoy what you see here and you want to see more, by liking and subscribing, it'll help you see my videos in your feed more often, and also really helps support me in the channel. So thank you all for your support, and now let me show you how the building went. So the parts that I used in this video came from both my own collection and from the LEGO Ambassador Network, so I had quite a lot to work with. Starting with Lloyd's Dragon, I connected the upper and lower jaw exactly as I had planned to. There's quite a bit of room on the upper jaw to build upon, so I added golden horns to help give this guy a more unique look compared to the others. However, I didn't add anything on the lower jaw because none of the official ones have anything built down there. For my color scheme, I stuck to bright green and regular green on the top, and then dark blue on the bottom. I tried not to make it overly textured, but it may have had a bit more to it than the official dragons. I tried not to overdo the gold since this dragon was already using so many different colors, so I kept it to only the horns, the wings, and then some back armor on the legs. Speaking of the wings, they were pretty difficult to do. Cole, Jay, and Kai's dragons all had new colors and new molded parts for their wings, but of course I didn't have that option. So I just used golden blades similar to what the Nia dragon does, but in an entirely different place. For the legs, I of course used green SCCBS joints, and the feet are basically a combination of what we see on the Nia and the Jay dragons. The tail out the back is quite simple, but but that's what it's supposed to be. It's topped off with a little plant piece because the color worked just perfectly, and I felt it would be a great way to end things off. And then finally, the Evo aspect. As planned, the middle section of the body can be removed, and without it, it does look awkward and tall, but I do think it looks better than the unevolved Kai dragon, so I feel like it fits perfectly as a part of the line. Next, coming to my Zane dragon. This is the biggest of the six dragons, both official and custom, and ended up being mostly a scaled down version of the official set, but personally, I think it turned out pretty great. These super detailed jaw pieces look a little goofy when connected with these gray connectors, but oh well. I did build on the underside of the jaw here because the dragon would have looked really inorganic without it, but I think that works fine. For the body, I used the lighter icy blue on top with occasional spikes pointing out the sides, as well as the occasional translate blue pieces. 
I think this does a great job of communicating the build's like snowy feel. You can also see I included six legs on this dragon, just like the official version. The front two sets of legs use Evo joints in white, while the back legs are brick built and inspired by the ones on Neo's dragon. Each set of legs is designed differently, where I wanted the front legs to be more spiky and icy, while the back ones were designed to be smoother and snowier. The front feet include giant claws, which may be a little bit too out there, however I do think they help give this guy his own identity. Meanwhile, the middle and back feet are similar to the other Evo dragons. This one has a giant icy tail at the back, again bigger than the others, but just like the claws, again, I feel like it helps add to his unique identity. And then finally the wings. These are similar to the ones that I had built on the Lloyd Dragon. I had considered using the Golden Dragon Zane wings, but ultimately I decided that these fit a little bit better. The Ice Dragon does have an Evo transformation just like the others. You can shorten him by removing the center and then reattach the front and the back. This removes the middle set of legs and gives them a very different look that has a lot less gold. I think the overall design of my two dragons turned out pretty great. Each of them have their own identity while also feeling like they fit in with the other Evo dragons. Lloyd's is very lizard-like while Zane's is more cat-like and I think as a group they all look fantastic. As builds I of course do not think these look nearly as good as the official versions of these sets, but that wasn't the goal of this video. The idea was to scale these down to make them more in line with the other dragons. And I think I did a pretty good job of that. But of course those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of my customs in the comments below. Also leave such suggestions for my next mock slash building challenge video as I'm kind of running out of ideas here but I'd love to hear what you guys want to see. But now let's talk about the giveaway. This video was of course all about the Ninjago Core Dragons so I will be giving away one copy of each of these six Ninjago Core Dragons. The first place winner will receive Zane's Ice Dragon creature as well as Jay's Lightning Dragon Evo. The second place winner will get Lloyd's Legendary Dragon as well as Cole's Earth Dragon Evo. And then the third place winner will receive Nia's Water Dragon Evo and Kai's Fire Dragon Evo. Now what's the contest? How do you actually win these sets. Well this is going to be yet another mock contest and of course it's going to be all about dragons. This video is all about the Evo style of dragons, so I want to see you guys create your best custom dragon using the modern Ninjago dragon head system. The dragon can be any size, you can do it as small as an Evo dragon or as big as Zane's Ice Dragon. The only rules are you have to use at least one of the jaw pieces from one of these dragons, and you can't use a combination of upper and lower jaws that are already used in an official set. So for example if you have the Jay's Lightning Dragon Evo set, your custom dragon could use the upper jaw from that set and then the lower jaw from another set, or the upper jaw from that set and then a brick built lower jaw, but it can't use the same exact upper and lower jaw combination that the set uses. Other than that though, be as creative as you want. There's of course quite a few other dragons besides the Evo dragons that use like these headpieces, and those are allowed as well. But yeah, build your very best custom dragon, bonus points if you have a cool backstory for it or some really cool photography, and post to the Instagram with the hashtag BricksByMindDragonMockContest. Make sure to tag me in the post as well to make sure I see it. The contest is international, you just have to make sure to be subscribed to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram, and there are a few other minor restrictions, but those are all listed in the description below. And then exactly three weeks after this video has been posted, the contest will conclude, and I will announce the winner shortly after. So good luck to everyone, and I cannot wait to see what you build. And I think that's all I got for this video, so thanks for watching everybody, I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this one, go check out my Building Challenges playlist, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!